everybody and welcome. My name is Brooke and you are at the Pink Frog. I hope everybody is happy and healthy and well and taking their vitamin C and fighting the good fight. And I'm going to bring to you today something I would normally do because I'm trying to do normal things. Sometimes that's really hard. So I wanted to share with you guys, I was going to make this video anyway, I always do an antique share or vintage share. So I had been down in Florida and before the lockdown happened and before even that, um, I did some shopping down here on my time off and I got some really cute vintage finds. So I'd like to share those with you guys today. And I'm going to start off with a bag. One of the places that I love down here is a place that's called Now and Then Gallery and they are in Jensen Beach. And they're a place I've talked about before. They're on Federal Highway if you're in Florida and the lockdown is over with, or even if they, you can order things online, which I haven't really checked out since this happened. Um, I would definitely say they've got the cutest stuff in the whole world. So I will show you some of the wonderful things that I found. Um, one of the things that I really loved was, I like going back in there. I go there every year that I come down to Florida, anytime I'm here. And if I see something that's been in the shop for more than like two or three years, I'll end up waiting and seeing what happens, and I end up getting it. So one of the vintage finds that I had was the things that I found. It is a little turvet, not turvet, is it a turvet? A little Lazy Susan. And you can put all your goodies in here, and then this opens up. And I've seen this at Now and Then Gallery for over two years, and even three years, I think, and this is the year that I decided to buy it. It was, I can't remember what I paid for it, but it really was a song. I think it was 50 bucks, maybe. And it's just wonderful. I really love it. And then gallery and antiques. The other thing that I found that I just really was nuts over was this lovely little piece of nostalgia. I thought this was really neat. It has recipes on it. It's a little dusty. And then you put the little recipes in here and you flip it up. And it was really sweet and cute. There's little recipe cards in there, which I just really thought was adorable. My kitchen in my house has a red and like a cream theme, almost a little lighter than this, a lot lighter than this. But it has um, those colors in it and some white. So I thought that would be perfect in my kitchen. And it says on, kisses don't last, good cooking do. Kisses don't last, but good cooking do. I'm sure everybody is having a lot of fun cooking at home right now. But I thought that was really neat. I don't know how much I paid for this, maybe five bucks, which I thought was a dream. Really cute, super adorable. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really cute. Then the other things that I found, which I thought was really sweet, is I like unique uh, pepper, salt and pepper shakers. So I got this one and its counterpart is right here. These are really sweet and really cute. I think I paid five bucks for them. They're really adorable, the salt and pepper shakers. Really cute. I also went to a place that's called Annie and Annie's Antiques, which always never fails. I found some of those beautiful gowns there. Everything there is just beautiful. And I got this lovely teacup. It's just really pretty inside. Roses and the ribbon is just really vintage and sweet. And the name of it is Queens 1875. Tea, so I thought that would be fun for a little afternoon tea. Then you can't get very far for having afternoon tea. And these aren't antique, but they really are cute. I went to Home Goods, and right before all this happened, they were saying that Home Goods and uh, Home Goods and Pier One were going out of business. So I can't see that happening, but maybe now I can. But I got these adorable spoons. They are so cute. Just absolutely love them. So cute with the details with the uh, little teacups and I mean tea, 
Tootsie Pops on them. Really super cute. And I got two of these. They were $7.99 from Home Goods. Really super cute. They will go great with the little tea. Then I stopped by Annie's Antiques and I ended up getting, I love sterling silverware. I love anything to do with like demi toss forks, knives, spoons. Excuse me. And I got these allotment of five. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There are five. And they're really beautiful. I love the detail on them. And again, these are from Annie's Antiques. The flowers that are on them that are just so cute. They're lilies. And the lilies on there are just wonderful. These are great dessert forks. Absolutely beautiful. We love them. And Annie's Antiques has really beautiful antiques. And that, again, is wonderful. I, I, there, I, there's, when I see handkerchiefs, I just have to get them. They're so lovely. And I thought the daisies were so beautiful. And then I got this one for red, white, and blue. Super cute. This one I thought was really neat. It's a vintage. I got this for $2. I haven't even taken it out yet, but I thought it was really cute. So reminiscent of the 60s or the 70s, pretty much the 60s, I would think. So absolutely adorable. And I take these, the name on here is Mary Lewis, L-E-W-I-S. So it's Mary Lewis on them. Anybody knows any information about Mary Lewis and her handkerchief or napkins? But I, I wear them with a pin on my shirts. Sometimes they make little ties out of them. You know, cute. Then I got this one, which I thought was really pretty. And feminine with the floral detail. Really super cute. And this one, now I love this color combination. Very reminiscent of like the 40s, I think. And there's cherries on there, really super cute. It makes a cute tie that's a little dirty, so I use this side. Super cute. Now then, let me put that back in its little case. I got really, really neat jewelry um, from, and that wasn't Goodwill, it was a hospice uh, center that is down here. They have a lot of places for hospice. So I got some really neat, oh, 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 I'm going to show you another thing. Um, at at uh, Annie's Antiques, I got this beautiful pin. Love this. It reminds me of something that is Art Deco. Sorry if I don't have a steady hand. I've had a big Coke today. I love this. It's a little guy in a cart. And there's like little faux diamonds in there. And he's got a top hat. And he's carrying, he's, it's a hackney but I thought that was really sweet and pretty. And then I got also this pin, and this one is, it's not anything diff, you know, real special, but I thought it was really neat. I got a skirt that goes with it that was unique and different. And then I got, these are so cute, I love them so much. I got these at um, Annie and Annie's Antiques for a beautiful price. Isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. The pearls and that green glass, really pretty. Then, one of the things that I absolutely saw that I fell in love with was this dog pin, poodle pin. So cute. The thing that makes it really unique is its head turns. You can turn it to the left, you can turn it to the right. And it just, it's really super cute. Then I got this pin, which I want to take a little um, painter's brush and attach it to. I've always wanted to have an artist's palette. And I finally found one. This was uh, $10. And there's a little crazing in it, but that's okay, because I'm just going to wedge a little, maybe I'll wedge a little um, paintbrush in there. And last but not least, I got this adorable pin. I love sailor pins. I love red, white, and blue. So cute. 
sailing over the seven seas. So those are all my finds that I found on my adventures while I was down here. I hope everybody is doing well and happy and healthy. I have another video coming up later on. Um, it's going to be of the vintage uh, bathing suit that I made, and you guys haven't seen me wear it. I made it back in Chicago, and I did a, a tutorial on it, on how I put it together and everything, and I found a really super cute bathing cap. My mom and I found one online. So I'm going to share that a little later. You guys stay healthy, stay happy, stay well. Fight the good fight. Use your Lysol cleaners. Use your hand soap. Check on neighbors. Make sure that the elderly that are in your community, give them a call. If they don't have any friends or family, they would really like a phone call. Even call your community church and find out, or even in your community, find out through um, the police department or anybody, if there are shut-ins that don't have anybody to talk to, a phone call can really connect people because the elderly, you know, in your community may not know how, to, may not even have a computer. So a phone call would be really nice. And you can check in your communities to see if there's phone numbers of people that are shut-ins people who need their dogs walked, that sort of thing. I pray everybody's happy and healthy and well. God bless you guys, and I'll see you real soon.